Hey, everybody. Tribe Geo is back. Do you even recognize us? It's been like <laughs> half a year. <laughs> if you are from this channel and you haven't watched our vlogs, why the frack? What is wrong with you? Yeah, that's our explanation of why we were gone is epic travel vlog. We were doing real life reactions and you're here. And so a lot of the stuff that we've reacted to, we've seen in person now. So it's like, why would we even react? But now we're reacting again. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> why not i mean it will only give us ideas where to go when exactly, we're back exactly exactly as you can see we're back in the u.s sorry i have to make the same joke whoa good we're back in the u.s so we're going to be reacting again so reactions on this channel are going to continue from now on and uh this channel it's uh the one channel that we have a hard time finding exactly what we want to do on it. So please give us some suggestions yes. in the comments of videos to react to or fun other content we can do surrounding geography. We're going to do some like games on here and some other creative geography videos, maybe even some YouTube shorts and uh, I don't know, some like informational videos we can make on here as well. So Geo is really going to be a melting pot of everything geography and travel. Speaking of the melting pot of everything geography and travel, we're starting with the Philippines. There's a lot of guns in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, good old, good old Marky boy. Marky Mark and the Weensy Bunch. Marky Mark and the Weensy Bunch. Fastest street food skills in the Philippines. This will be epic. If you want to watch us eat food in the Philippines, check out the vlog channel. Hopefully, you know it. Link in the description. Let's do this, Marky. What do you got for us today? I'm expecting a, a big smile. Murphy's always smiling. Oh yeah. Is that some sort of canned Spanish meat? You know, we know that spam is like a big thing in like a lot of Asian countries. We have not touched it. No, surprisingly not. Only like if it's been in a, an ingredient in something. Yeah. Like the... Korea. In Korea, and that rice Hello, bowl, and then that, so that rice. What is that rice? The fried rice. Yang Chow fried rice? Yeah, yeah that has it too. The boo? Did you just say? Thank I wish I could open a can like that. He has so much skill. He's just like, there's, okay, you arrive at this place, it's like within the alley, tucked within the alley, there's tables going down, there's crates of instant noodles, cans of sardines. Like this. Oh, he has so much skill. This guy on the right. Like, there's, okay, you arrive at this place, it's like within the alley, tucked within the alley, there's tables going down, there's crates of He's just eating. <laughs> he was just eating straight <laughs> rice, it looked like. Really? It was like and he whips up omelets Oof, resourcefully yeah, whips up omelets spam is so interesting all to together me. you should see his lineup he has a lineup of of uh instant noodles and cans of meat and he is so rhythmic and so fast in what he does he's just so much cooking skills you gotta watch this choose whatever you want yeah, sounds like it's like somebody banging on like a piece of metal it's like <laughs> That's cool. You get to choose your meat and choose your flavor. Let's get the beef. Okay. Let's get beef loaf. Beef loaf. Beef loaf. And extra hot. The beef loaf. I mean, it, it might taste fine, but I gotta say, that doesn't make it sound appetizing when you call it a beef loaf. And it's tastier and meatier. <laughs> punch it, punch it, canton. Yes. And then we go and put it in our. We have to wait in line. Oh, somebody got that same combination before us. <laughs> then we must have chosen a good combination. What about all the other combinations? Oh, I see some beef loaf and some spicy right there. Oh. What would you choose? Not spicy, because my stomach explodes every time I have spicy things now. I think ever since I drank hot sauce from Pizza Hut in <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> that was like first week. Yeah. Those are some epic non-stick pans. My gosh, nothing's sticking to that. Don't you wish life was that easy? Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Wow, he is a pro. Flipping eggs is always a challenge, especially something that big. And he's just like, whoop. Oh. The camera got in the way. Oh, the camera almost got eggs right there. 
I guess if you're doing it outside, it's way easier to just spill eggs all yeah, over true. the place. What kind of oil is that? Literally nothing sticks at all. An interesting thing with us. Did the egg just fall into the thing right before it cut? Wait. Go back a tiny bit more. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting thing with us is we've noticed a lot of times at restaurants in the Philippines when we eat the eggs, it affects our stomach negatively. Yeah, we've noticed that. Maybe it's the oil that they use. It eat. might be because they're always like pretty wet. Yeah. And they, these they taste good, but they're wet. They yeah, probably I, have the. Then they make us poop. Yeah. And our whenever I buy eggs from the Philippines, they're always super orange. His are super yellow. And my whenever I buy canned meat, it's always uh, I don't even know. a beef loaf. A beef loaf. Can't drop that one, bro. You just toss the egg to the side. So yellow. That's an interesting video because like nobody's speaking. It's literally just watching this guy cook, and he is a master. I mean, he's doing the work of like two and a half, three people. That's a whole crew. That's a whole crew of chefs. Look at how many pans he has. Hey, three, four pans, two pots, and he's prepping everything. Kind of opening all the cans. That takes forever. Oh, it's a good thing he's got a Swiss army knife. And he can dance at the same time. I have no idea how to remember all those combinations in everybody's order. I'd be very scared I would cut my fingers. Oh, for sure. For sure. He's like, don't look at the camera. Don't They're look at the camera. <laughs> the camera person can't even film well because he'll just be on the next thing. Can't keep up. One's off, right back on another. Okay. Yeah. What does he start selling? Six, six now. Six p.m. And then you finish. Four a.m. Six p.m. to four a.m. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Those are some hours right there. Yes, My God. Literally watching a machine. All right, I got the recipe now. Are you ready? We're yep. starting our own business. We'll be just as quick. We'll set up right next door. And we're gonna be two people, so we'll do like four times his output. We're gonna be so pro. Just slam that thing oh hard. <laughs> How often do you think he misses that garbage? I would say at least one in ten times he's got a miss. Oh, that's pretty close, but he like just chucks it. He threw the egg without even looking. There's an egg on the back of yeah. the garbage <laughs> right now. He's always got that water steam in there. I wonder if he takes a break ever in his 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. shift. My God. In the... 10 hours? In the business of ramen and meatloafs, there's no breaks. It's constant work. And just 
him keeping track of the orders, the omelets, two omelets at a time, mixing in the ingredients, the cans, mixing in the, the, the noodles and making sure they don't overcook. It's just timing, strategy, he's so in the zone. Yeah, he literally is in the zone. He's just like, just tell. Um, was that a different person seasoning? He's just non-stop. There's I've lost all respect all for these people. Ugh, I can't believe this. Goods. I can't believe this. Oh, man. And so actually, I can't believe noodles, you've done this. They, once the noodles are finished, the instant noodles, then they squeeze on the sauce. The omelet is served on the side with a scoop of rice. Here comes the Always need rice. rice, even if you got noodles. Oh, right. so, this is the oh, Philippines. Kind of like a kind of like well, how much that cost? Holy fuck. Probably like 50 pesos. I it's guess. gotta be, yeah. This is the thing in the Philippines, if you've never been there. No matter what you have, whether it's fried chicken, if it's noodles, whatever, you're getting a nice fat thing of rice right next to it. If you ordered a main course that is carbs, you're getting rice with it no matter what. If you order french fries at mcdonald's they'll just give you a thing of rice if yeah. you order a cheeseburger they'll put rice on the cheeseburger you, can, you go to an ice cream shop get some ice cream they put rice in the ice cream are you fracking kidding me like a well quite a hearty meal here yeah, instant like, noodles rice to omelet yeah it's like value meal, <laughs> value meal. this is the ultimate value meal yeah. all right What's didn't they said value meal didn't say how much it was with all the sauce Hard. got the extra spicy in all the, the doesn't seasoning look powders. spicy. <laughs> no. Man, those are the seasons. I like the Korean one where it's really a one rat. <laughs> Korean food is intimidating. He is a one man show. He does everything. All he uses is a spatula and a, and a, a leather Swiss Army Yeah, leather man. A leather yes. man. Not undercooked, huh? All done, Dave. Mm, yeah. Perfectly cooked. Mm. No. It's actually perfect. Yeah, that's why. Right. Like, man, you're going to do it over here. How you, that's you how you cook this instant noodle. Actually perfect. Okay, now we've got the rice and we've got the omelet. Going for that beef loaf. Yeah. Wow, look at Mark Wien's pro. Fried crispy, look at that. Prune and fork, pro. Yeah. Wait. Why didn't he put rice on that spoon? I'm very oh, disappointed. Oh, Oh, that rice is really steaming. <laughs> that guy just put it back like it was nothing. Yeah, I didn't even see him. I saw him put the rice in, but I didn't see him like chew it or anything. That guy's pro. Look at that. There you go. Very Filipino. Yeah. Late night food. You can definitely see yourself coming here late at night. And then he just has an everlasting line. never ends. He dances. He never takes a break. No break. Hold you. Business. It's quite the category. That is. A lot it's of like, competition. It's like an ESPN stat. What is the sauce here? Is it just like ketchup? A, yeah. Ketchup. Yeah. Why not? Ketchup. Why not? Not to meat. Yeah, that's what people do. <laughs> that's what people do. <laughs> All right. What a spot, man. What another great spot. Thank you, Carlo. <laughs> wow, that was an interesting video. I want. I mean, we've never actually. We lived in the. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry. We lived in the Philippines for nine months. Thank you, Carlo. And uh, we never went to a spot like that. No. We, we went to like a few, like, sort of like side street, like little. Hole in the wall. Type yeah. Places. Yeah, but we never, like. Went to like unique ones, I guess. Really, no. That I guess the Bachoy. We were we were close to that one, probably. <laughs> True. I mean, we went to the, like the famous one, the La Paz yes. Market, and take a Bachoy. So I mean, that was kind of like that, like a hole in the wall. Like you wouldn't expect. Like, oh, they serve like the just, original Bachoy here. Just in like the middle of the market there. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, just one of the one of the aisles just had like a few Bachoy places and a million people. Oh my! It was very busy. That was very interesting. I'd be very interested to try some meatloaf and omelet. I got to imagine like the flavor would be pretty dang good because it's like it's those cheap foods that have like 
an insane amount of salt. process than salt and stuff like that so that they have an extreme amount of flavor even though they're super cheap so i gotta imagine the flavor would be good the health aspect of it i 10 mean 10 out of 10 yeah you're probably looking at like 100 grams of protein zero grams of fat straight no processed yeah, uh, yeah, chemicals, no, no, no. nothing bad. Organic for sure. Super vegan organic. friendly. Meatloaf is always or beef, beef loaf <laughs> is always organic. Yeah, I mean it comes from the they take the beef wheat and then they turn it into beef bread ah, and then they get a beef loaf. Delicious. Thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. There'll be another Trife Geo video tomorrow so we'll see daily yeah. post are you kidding me oh and there's videos every single uh three days on our vlog channel so if you want to see more geo reactions that's the place to go geography and travel they go hand in hand they do and so do guns i guess because we're in america yeah see you later bye oh <laughs>